Good morning, welcome to a day in my life as a PhD student in psychiatry. I just woke up at 7 a.m. to take a shower and am now getting ready for the day. I walk down the stairs and say hi to my cat who is in the middle of the stairs as always and I start making my breakfast. And my breakfast today consists of homemade granola, plant-based yogurt, some strawberries and of course some chocolate sprinkles for fun. I really like to make my own breakfast and I can highly recommend this recipe of this homemade granola by Pickup Limes and I'll link it down below if you are interested in that. I sit down to have my breakfast and also do some Dingo Lingo to learn French. Elles sont étudiantes. They are students. After I cleaned up my breakfast, I get to the office and turn on my computer and all the tech I need for the day. And I start planning my day with something that's a little bit less tech. So I write down all the things I have to do today uh, in a to-do list, but also all my meetings in a sort of bullet journal format. And as you can see here, I have quite a busy day. So I just start immediately with answering some mails. At 9 a.m. I get my stuff to go to the bike repair shop to get my bike in for the maintenance. I use my bike as my commuter, so I use it to go to work. Even though I don't have to go to work nowadays, I have to keep my bike in good conditions. So that's where I am going. And on the way back, I am lucky because it's beautiful weather and I just can walk home. When I get back to my desk, I have to prepare the meeting I have in a few moments because I'm talking to the help desk that is going to tell me how to connect specific questionnaires for the online questionnaire we are setting up. I don't understand the GUI they have, so I am gonna ask them and they will inform me. And I'm pretty lucky because our help desk is pretty amazing and they always help me when I need them. At 10.30 we have a virtual tea break with colleagues which we have three times a week and we can talk about work or just life and it's always very nice to keep in touch with the people I care about. Um, and this time it was only me and one of my favorite colleagues because other people were busy. Okay, at 11 a.m. I had my meeting with the help desk and of course they were able to help me and I could continue my work which is actually what I did after the meeting. I set up the online questionnaires and I made everything the way we wanted and it's not finished yet, but we're still working on it and I made progress in everything that I didn't understand before I understand now. So I will be able to continue that and finish it pretty, pretty soon. At 1.15 I have lunch with my boyfriend and it's a little bit later than we normally do but because of the meetings and everything that I was doing I was eating a little bit later which is actually pretty nice to do with your boyfriend because you can just get out of your head and talk about other stuff than just work. At 2 p.m. I had a webinar about Bayesian statistics organized by my local open science community. And I really enjoyed it because it introduced me into Bayesian statistics and showed me another way of doing statistics compared to what we are already doing. It reminded me that the way we are testing with p-values only says something about our data. How well does our data fit in light with our hypothesis? But what we actually want to know is if our hypothesis is correct. So is our belief we have about the construct correct? We humans update our beliefs based on experiences and this is exactly what Bayesian does as well. 
And what was actually pretty cool about this webinar was that two of my colleagues slash friends were also following the webinar. So if we had any stupid questions, we could just ask them to each other. And it was really nice because I think it definitely increased my retention of this webinar. So I can highly advise that for any of you who are doing webinars or conferences as well, to talk about it with your colleagues or friends uh, because it just increases your retention. The webinar took a little longer than I anticipated, so at 4.30 I had to run to my physiotherapist and she budgeted me so I had to walk back slowly. And after a quick change I went to pick up my bike from the bike repair shop because it was ready and I was able to continue back home. After I came home, I immediately had my dinner because I was super duper hungry and I discovered there was a Totally Spice movie on YouTube, so I clicked on it and started watching it. At 7 p.m. I got my courage together and I wanted to get back to work, but my virtual desktop wasn't loading, so I wasn't able to do that. And instead, I decided to take some care of myself and do a workout. And I'm currently using the Sweat app by Kayla Itzins. And she is a personal trainer from Australia and I've known her for about five to six years. I'm not sure about that. And it's a quick hit workout you're doing three times a week, only 28 minutes. And it has a beginner option right now, which is pretty good for me because of my knee injury. And this way I can increase my workouts and the workout load again without actually overtraining myself. After my workout, I took a shower and I called with my mom for at least half an hour. And after that, I started cleaning uh, my bedroom folding some laundry and making sure the whole apartment was nice again. And around 10 p.m. I started my evening routine, which consisted of doing some face cream for the night on my face, brushing my teeth and starting journaling to reflect on my day. And in this case, reflecting on the webinar I had earlier today because it was quite eye-opening to me and I need to process that. So after I journaled, I picked up my Kindle and put everything on the side and started reading. That's actually always the last thing I do on a day reading because it just gets my mind off things and it gets me tired and I just read until I'm too tired. And I'm currently reading Daily Rituals by Mason Curry. And if you are interested in a day of a life videos, you probably will like this as well because Mason Curry will talk about the daily rituals Trails of people and it's basically a day in a life in a book so I just love it that's my kind of jam so I just read about all these famous people and what their rituals were during the day and when I got tired I just set my alarm for 7 a.m. for the next day and I went to sleep so that's it for me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment how your day looks like. I wish you a very good night.